Ladies and gentlemen, the American Jury and Bulldog Nation, welcome to the Eric Dieter Show. Joy Reid, she says the entire Trump movement is a fascist movement. And the reason why men vote for Trump is that we're all fascist men. North Korea is bragging that they signed 1.4 million young men up to their military. Hmm. I wonder if that was mandatory, you think? Trump's New York rally, some of the people are trying to troll it. Uh, by buying tickets and they're not going to go. Guess what? It doesn't make any difference, dumbasses. Georgia early voting is going strong. I'm telling you, the reason why early voting is breaking records isn't people going out and voting for Kamala Harris. It's because the Republicans and Trump have embraced early voting. So you've got more Republicans going to vote. You ready for this? Tim Waltz, the governor of Minnesota. You want to put him in charge of the country with Kamala Harris? Minnesota is ranked dead last on fiscal policies. Out of 50 states, dead last. He's a communist. Kerry Lakes closed the gap to four points in U.S. Senate race out in Arizona. Movement coming. This young lady right here, Adelson, the widower of that rich Marv Adelson who passed away, casino guy, just pledged another $100 million to a pact for Trump. Get out the vote, baby. Drones have been flying around our military bases and our military says there's nothing they can do about it. What? Do you believe it? We don't have a weapon that knocks out drones? <laughs> I swear, man. CBS is under fire to release the entire tape. The entire transcript. Of course, they doctored the transcript well with the Kamala Harris interview where they gave two answers. 40% of Americans oftentimes only have $50 in the bank. What does that tell you about our poor middle class and lower middle class folks? Construction workers, we need them and we need them bad. Thus, my education that I covered in my podcast, let's train them now while they're in high school. Business bankruptcy is way up in 2024. Bidenomics, after four years, way up. Michelle Obama's not campaigning for Kamala Harris. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I predict there was something that Michelle thinks happened between Kamala and her husband. There is no other explanation than that. Cruz, already debate. Last night, Cruz kicked his ass. Trust in the media, all-time low. Does that shock anybody? No. A Georgia judge in Fulton County, Atlanta, says they have to certify, election officials have to certify the results no matter what. Walgreens is closing 1,500. They had this great reemergence the last 20 years, and now they're going in the other direction, going to close 15 Walgreens. I love our Walgreens and Independence. Nancy Pelosi has not spoken to Joe Biden since the coup. What does that tell you? That, that says it all. Joe Biden is not happy, and he ain't going to do squat to help Kamala try to win. Uh, Trump is the betting favorite now, and apparently that's... Who's the betting favorite has been more accurate than polls, believe it or not. The dog chain, remember the famous dog that was chained in the middle of Milton? That guy right there, the owner's been charged with a crime. And gangs continue to take over our country. The Venezuelan gang, they are actively recruiting people and growing. See, when people are down on their luck and they don't have anything else, they turn to things like gangs. There's a lot of gang members. (laughs) But Joe Biden's been great for the gangs. Coming up next, oh, Shakespeare and Saul the Day. Do not be a spongy, mewling giglet. That's a pretty good one. You're welcome. I chose it because Spinley, uh, I'm on a, uh, he beat me a couple times this morning, but I reversed course as always. And now, now, now I am the chess champion again. Uh, every once in a while he wins, but it's a, an anonymy. That's what they call that. Coming up next, local news. <laughs> All right, here we go with local news. Tomorrow, Thursday, blink. It's all over. Greater Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky, downtown. Northern Kentucky. Million of the people are going to come watch it, except me. I have no desire. I think it's beautiful. Yay, 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 yay. Not my kind of thing, but I know you like it, so we're reporting it. Northern Kentucky Sports Hall of Fame. It's got five new members. I just want to mention one. John Fortner from Holy Cross. He's a lawyer. He's a good guy. Congratulations, John Fortner. Drivers get over. They passed the law, then they've expanded the law. When you see emergency vehicles, you're supposed to get over. I haven't always been good at, about this in the past. I didn't really know it was a thing, but now I do, and I always get over. 
Virtual nurses, our tri-state hospitals are using them. Why? Because of the nursing shortage. What does this mean? Less good quality health care. Pete Rose 911 call, apparently the uh, condominium complex is the one that was worried about him. And they called his son, Tyler. Tyler's the one that discovered him. Pete Rose passed away from heart issues. Remke's are all being sold. Bill Remke got out, I think, a long time ago. But uh, they're selling out. It's been sad because Remke's, in my opinion, have deteriorated uh, over the past 10 years in quality. It's not clean. So I'm glad they're getting sold. They need to be sold. And do you know Skyline? Like, we don't get enough Skyline. Of course, I boycott Skyline because of the prices. But it was a big hit on Dewey's Pizza. Somebody told me it was off the charts. And they're also now in graders. When you eat ice cream, don't you want ice cream and not chili? Skyline ice cream? Yuck. And these two fellas right here got busted big time. Well, we're not pitching him. And two men were busted. They had like 20 vape shops around town. And they've been busted for fraud. You know why? Putting stuff in the vape that shouldn't be there. Coming up next, Jamie Spenley in World News. And he beat me in chess today, so he'd probably be a happy camper. Of course, I won the last game, and I will never lose to him again. Hello again, the latest world headlines. In Nigeria's Jigiwa state, a fuel tanker accident turned deadly when locals attempted to gather spill fuel. The tanker exploded, resulting in 94 deaths and 50 injuries. A 46-year-old Russian man was found alive after drifting for over two months in the sea of Oketz. His brother, age 49, and nephew, age 15, who set out with him on a whale watching trip, were found dead in the boat. Unbelievable. And after intentionally being detained, relocation, some Afghan special forces who served alongside British forces will now be allowed to resettle in the United Kingdom. A government review found previous rejections were unjust. Be up to date on the world news. Stay tuned for Sports Without Boundaries, and I will be back tomorrow. Cheerio. All right, here we go with Sports Without Boundaries. Yankees 6, Guardians 3. Yankees are up two games to none. Dodgers, Mets are back at it today. Uh, they're, they're tied at 1-1. Tom Brady is now a minority owner of the Oakland Raiders. And an add-on, Green Bay Packers traded for Devontae Adams, reuniting him with Aaron Rodgers. This is the Bulldog coming up next. Pop, pop, pop. Culture. You got to love this story. Francesca Eastwood, Clint's daughter, beat the hell out of that guy. Got domestic violence charged against her. <laughs> you don't mess with Clint's daughter. Look, he probably didn't get shot. She's been released on $50,000 bond. And there's going to be a new documentary, John Y. Brown, the most interesting man you never heard of. Well, people have heard of John Y. Brown. He did have one incredible life. He was a pioneer in the fast food business and franchising. John Y. Brown, he, went, uh, he was broke. He got rich. I think he went broke again. Every dog has their day. I hope today is yours. <laughs>